There's the main divide. Yay. That's rad. Done about 2,500 feet of climbing and it's taken me an hour and a half. Not fun to be wet. I did bring extra socks. My feet are dry still, but we might be getting wet after biking in all this muck. Wow, mountain is coming down here. Out here every day out in the mountains here is special has a different character in the in the mist and in the wet wow it's, it sounds like a roaring river it's full on raining out here it's like this little ecosystem <laughs> yeah look at that it's a pretty cool waterfall very transient, very seasonal. This is basically where Holy Jim Trail intersects the main divide. And it wasn't raining like this until I got into this little notch, kind of like a little ecosystem microclimate. That's new. Wow. I just realized why it was raining over there by Holy Jim. It's because of the tree cover. It's just like in uh, North Bay in the Mill Valley area, Mount Tam, all the redwoods are like a natural drip irrigation system. They pull all the fog and moisture out of the air and it causes it to condense on the tree branches and pine needles, etc., and drip down like rain. That's what it was doing over there. Oh my gosh, this grade, it's not too bad. It's just so juicy. Guess what? It's raining again. And guess what? I'm under tree cover. Theory holds up. This is quite the grind in these conditions. And probably any condition. <laughs> Rain and snow, rain and snow in the Santa Ana's, whoa. And I'm biking in a t-shirt and shorts. This has become quite the interesting bike ride. It's really mountain bike terrain. Like this, for example, you can just roll over that on a mountain bike. The hikers at Summited said there is snow on the last mile. So that's probably gonna prevent me from going up there because I don't really wanna be hiking in the snow for that long. But let's see how far I can go. Oh, this is annoying. It was really annoying. Okay, I just dragged it a little bit. What's funny is that I passed like, I don't know, was it like six or eight hikers? Group, a group together. And uh, they just must have really bushwhacked through that instead of just dragging it across a little bit. Ah, it's two, two hours, 40 minutes. I think I'm, this day is turning into going to the peak and back. I was going to loop out and do the whole main divide and go to El Carrizo truck trail and then do road to get back to Indian truck trail where I parked. But I think this north part of the main divide is just, it's just too much on the gravel bike. It's a mountain, it's mountain biking terrain. It's raining, I'm hiking in snow with a bike.
I don't know why I'm bringing my bike. I just, I don't know where to stash it. In the bushes. Yeah, in the bushes. I think that might be the ticket now because it's getting kind of hard to push. Well, I'm glad I persevered because the skies have cleared. I can actually see blue sky now. It's no longer raining. It's no longer misty. I'm no longer getting soaked, although I am soaked. <laughs> and I'm hiking. I'm in the summit. It's happening. Okay, kind of spoke too soon. It's misty again. <laughs> Approaching the summit. The Santiago beeping. We know we're there. This is why this summit isn't as rad as Majeska. You get this weird noise. And you got a fire road that, that makes it fairly accessible. So you get a lot of 4 by 4s up here. And you know, you've got all these buildings. Santiago Peak! Can't see anything! So I made it back to Snowline and um, my feet are soaked and frozen. But uh, I can deal with frozen feet. Can't deal with frozen hands. And so these are dry. I think I'm heading back. I'm not doing the loop too much. Wet weather. Let's go! Oh yeah, this is hard. Question is, do I attempt holy gym in the gravel bike?